you the chips protect the epoxy, you put a clear coat of urethane over this, no worries, right? Within three minutes? Yeah, All right. You can use this epoxy by itself. What's that? You can use it in a room by itself. You don't have to throw chips in it. You, you don't have to throw quartz in it. You can just use it as a coating. I mean, we make it in several colors. We make custom colors. You can We can mix any color you want, and you can just put it out, right? We have clear epoxy. That's, we're going to show clear epoxy. That's what we mix our metal in. And leave some four other colors into it and, and, and move that around with your squeegee and get a pretty fancy look too. So right now we're gonna we want to roll it down thin. We want you know eight to ten mils. You want it thin so it doesn't encapsulate the, the chips or the ports. You just want it to hold it. You don't want it to suck it in. You don't want to make it lumpy. What's your pot like? Our, well we don't want to keep it in the pot, but we have about 25 minutes working time. Once right. you get it out in ribbons and you're spreading it around the floor, if you leave it in the can, like Thomas was saying before, in about 10 minutes, it's going to start smoking on you. Yeah, once it starts to get hot. We do basics all the time, man. Yeah. You need to control the environment because this is the top sensitive yeah. can. You have to keep everything kind of close for time to pot. Yeah, you're a hurricane. This is what you were talking about with fish on. That's correct. Right. So Anthony's throwing a colored quartz out. It's a blend that we pre-blended. What colors you got there, Anthony? Tan. Whatever's on top. Soft tan, white, and black. Now this comes in, you know, these come in 50-pound bags. You can make your own blends. And you're gonna throw them. But when you're doing that, any farmers in the group? Yeah, anyone ever fed chickens? Let me tell you something, chickens bite. If you don't feed them quick enough. So you get up there, you want to, hey, them chickens are coming at you. So you get that backhand flip going, you get this whole thing coated because you only got 20 minutes. And you're sitting there going, hey, Anthony, we got to get some chickens. You ain't got time. <laughs> so there you go. You get that floor covered because, hey, I'm, every, much time I think I'm losing money. So you just sit there and just give a little backhand flip to it. No, you're not because I'm collecting this. What doesn't stink, we're sweeping off and collecting. I'm using it again. Yeah, you can vacuum this up with no filter, right? Just vacuum it back up and then put it back in a bucket. I didn't want to get it on that. So you vacuum it up the next day? Yes, the next day. You know, you have, you have a... Yeah, your initial cure is, you know, 48 hours, depending on what your, what your temperature is. Right? Like this, see this? Mm. Right? You can leave it like that. Or even less. Or less. You can do whatever you want. Right. It's up to you. It, it's what you made a sample of and sold to your customers. That's what you're going to duplicate. Right. right? So you'll, make, you'll have a couple of different samples. One, you'll have a partial coverage. One, you'll have a 30% coverage. Right? Because this is, this is dippy. Right, somewhere in there, that's full. So you'll have different samples and say which one do you want, right? It's an industrial drink, 100% solid epoxy. So, go in there. Because yeah. yeah. this one is probably going to go purple. Purple can go. Purple can go. Purple can go. Purple can go. Now, when you, when you, you probably want to saturate the roller when you're rolling epoxy out over quartz. Right? When you're rolling it over the chips, you're going to roll it off on the grid more because you're going to want to put it down thinner. But since the, uh, since the quartz sucks up so much sealer, you want it to have a little more on the roller cover. Yeah, it's on. Sort of longer than that, make it any better or no? 
Roll the cover with a longer nap. You don't want to use longer nap, um, longer naps with epoxies in your set of all three eighths or nothing. At the quarter inch, you do the nap right. That three eight. That right there is a single broadcast floor for a heavy duty situation like their laboratory and stuff. They do a double broadcast. So after they just swept off, they'll put down another coat of epoxy, throw it again. So now you're filling up as twice as much. That is durable for a heavy duty commercial floor. So you do that same process again. Twice. 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 And then put a top coat. That's a, it's called a double broadcast floor, and it's for more. Say for you put another coat on, and it won't fall that free. So about eight hours. But you want it. He wanted to know how long he had to wait to put another coat of epoxy on a coat of epoxy. So you want to wait at least eight hours till it's tack free. You go out there, you want to go out with stocking feet. You don't want to have shoes on, right, to roll another coat on. Um, and you don't want to wait longer than 18 hours, right? You want to wait, you, so at least eight before. And the A side, we mix it up. And then we put the cure in and finish mixing it. And then we'll just roll this out with a paint roller. That's so, it. This is our. This is this is emerald, right? Is that the water base, Thomas? This is a this is a two part water base. Okay. Uh, water base of Thomas, I'm just trying to surface you. With me, we can color the primer with our metal effects. Like you said, you're sealing it from out gassing. Plus, you're also you don't want to put that metal effects down straight on the concrete because what if you have contaminants on the concrete? Drywall guy was in there, dropped mud all over the place. He scraped up the mud, but what's it leave behind residue? You go and put that epoxy on there and it fish eyes all over the place. Plus then if you put your metal effects coat on and you're thin in some areas, you can see that base coat color come up through rather than seeing this is a powder, right? It looks like glitter, right? It is, it is recommended to mix this into the A side a few hours before you go start the job or you can do it a day before you start the job. Mix it in your resin side. What it does is helps this powder wet out. So if you if you go right to the job and pour the powder in, you mix it up, it might not all wet out when you put it out. You'll get little starbursts or little streaks in your epoxy. So if you put this in the resin side and mix it in and wait an hour or two, it gives it longer for that powder to wet out. So these come dosed in a, in a one gallon or a three gallon dose, which is a quart bottle. Yeah. 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 Right? We have a little one of these as well. It's a flexible squeegee, yeah. right? The harder you push down, the thinner your millage is. You, if the lighter you are, the thicker your millage is. So you want to move this around. When you're moving this around, you're going to have your spiked shoes on, walking around in this. 
Solid 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 so it's pulling in the middle. Right here. Okay. And then you can't pull it too thin. As long as you don't put a lot of pressure. I like it. It's also blowing the stick too. Now, if you've been researching this product or similar products, you see different effects being done either with acetone, denatured alcohol, leaf blowers, all of those things are, are, that are done have to be done at specific, certain times. So earlier I said get to know your materials, practice with them. This is a good one to know of its, its, its properties, to know what its set times are and the, te the different temperatures. So, you know, practice in a, in a room that's around 75 degrees, so you can see how long it takes to set. Because yeah. yeah, well, somebody doesn't turn their, or somebody turns their stuff off just by uh, unplugging it. <laughs> Instead of using a switch. Now, if you wanted to, this is the time that you walk out with your other color. Yeah, I was going to say, do a little on the side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do so on just, put a little, just put, now, what do you want? Just pour a little, little, just sprinkle it in yeah, there. Nice little Feed ribbon. the chicken. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, put a little bit over there too. Nice little ribbon. This so what you can do board. is you can take little, you can take a quart container like that plastic one and drill a hole in it. Pour a little bit in it and hold your finger over it and put little drops in or or ribbons in a controlled with a controlled environment instead of pouring it out of a can like that. So we're going to let this sit for a second, a few minutes, and then we're going to come with the blower. And dry. <laughs> yeah, but you know this company that sells a, a degreasing agent for your concrete. Yeah. Installing it. I'll get you in contact with them. Okay. It's wet right now. It fell back down. So if you want to put your finger in. Go ahead. Yeah. Not there. <laughs> <laughs> Denatured alcohol and acetone work better. Never right? So where's the denatured yeah. alcohol? Yeah. You don't have any denatured alcohol? Yeah. It gives a little crater effect. Okay. Hey, you have any so you just spritz it? Is that what you do? You just spritz it? Now, it's still a little early for this. Right? See how it opened the epoxy up? Now this is going to heal because it's too early for it. But if you wait too long, it'll leave dimples like this in it. Rich, what the hell are you doing? You ruined it. He's doing what I want to do. I've been waiting to do this. That's how he used to eat his spaghetti as a baby. You never figured it when you were a kid, huh? I did, I just never got it out of my system. Wait to see it perfect. Okay, now sign it. <laughs> yeah. Now you need the blower. All right. How about I end up with a front marker? Yeah. Yeah. There's dust in your house. Yeah. <laughs> but in, in no, 10 minutes, it'll be completely different. Now, if you're going to do this, though, you want to do it all over. You know, we wouldn't want that over there, that over there, and that stuff over there. 
This is our Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. It's going back. Some of that. Back to like you did the cool color. You want it to blow like that the whole. They're all pretty cool. Right. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 So you're going to urethane the top of these? In a sense, but it looks great. Uh, we eyeball 50-50. Eyeball 50-50? Yeah. Right. This is what I, I haven't seen yet. Yeah. This is what I want to know. Yeah. Mixing, mixing colors together. You said 50-50. 50% burgundy, 50% Nile blue. Uh, even when you like just use the like when you don't put any pressure on it, it still scrapes it almost down. Yeah, like it's super. Well, well, it's like it's literally squeezing water. Yeah, it, it doesn't very have nearly the epoxy. Like if it's not as uh really if, if you had a good bottom color. No, yeah, we get the water-based